Hi, I'm Emily Beach, and in this video, I'm going to go over the block printing process, um, giving you a couple different alterations to print linoleum block prints. Today, I'm going to discuss a couple different ways to do block printing. Um, the first thing that you'll need set up in your area is somewhere to roll the ink, um, an inking plate. And my preference is these pieces of plexiglass and on the back side of them, I've just used some masking tape to tape a square. Um, you could also use your bench hook as an inking plate. Um, and you'll need your um, block printing ink. This is just Blick block printing ink. And I'm using a tongue depressor to put some ink on my printing plate. You can see it's inside of that taped area. I'm then going to use a brayer to roll the ink. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I'm keeping it inside of that taped area. And the reason why is because if we start to go to the edges of the plexiglass, it's just going to make my printing area messy and get ink in places where, um, where it could get onto my paper or other tools. So I'm just going to go side to side from three to nine, up and down from 12 to six. And I'm just making sure that I have a good, even amount of ink on my brayer. You don't want to have too much um, because if you do, the ink can go down into the carved areas of your linoleum block um, and you don't want to have too little. I guess if you're going to err on the side of caution, it's better to have too little and then have to add a little bit more and go over your uh, block a second time to make sure that you have ink coverage um, rather than having too much and then having to wash your, um, your linoleum block off. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my linoleum block and I'm just going to make sure that I don't have any scrap pieces of linoleum hanging out on there. Just make sure that you brush off any debris from that block. And then I'm going to roll the ink onto that block in the same way that I rolled it onto my inking plate. I'm just going to go up and down and side to side, making sure I'm getting to all of the edges. Actually, just saw a couple little pieces raised on there that I just picked off. If you can catch it before you print, um, you can just pick off that debris and then um, make sure that it's inked well. All right. So I'm going to show you um, two easy methods for printing. Um, the first method requires a printing press, and um, this is just a tabletop printing press and the paper is going to go onto the press. I'm lining it up to that left-hand side. Um, and then I'm going to put the ink side down. I'm just gonna try to line it up so that it's got even space around the paper. And then I'm going to fold that press down. I'm going to press with all of my weight. I'm gonna lift up the press and we'll check this print out. All right, that is a pretty good print. Um, it's always good to make more than one print. I'm noticing right here in this area, um, I have an area that didn't pick up the ink. It's because of another little, one of those linoleum shavings. So um, I'm going to add ink to my inking plate again re-ink my block and then, or re-ink my block and then I'll, I'll print. I'm gonna show you a second type of way to do that. Okay, so I don't need to add as much ink the second time that I ink my inking plate because my brayer is all, already covered and my block's already covered, so I just need to get some extra on there. Now, the second way that I'm printing, I'm showing you, um, if you don't have a printing press, um, you can do this. So what I've done is I've just took a scrap piece of cardboard from a copy paper box, and I measured out a four by six opening in there, and I'm going to 
just set my um, four by six linoleum block in that opening. And then I'm going to use copy paper. I'm gonna line up the corner and edges. And then I'm going to use a baron. So um, you can buy a baron um, and use that to press the back of your print. And if you don't have a baron, you can use the back of a wooden spoon and you can use that as your baron and you just rub and really you're burnishing the back of that page. You can see the outline of this as I'm pressing very firmly over the surface. Printing like this um, requires just a little bit more pressure and effort and attention than the, than the printing press, um, but you can still end up with really good prints. The reason why I like to use the copy paper is because it's a little bit thinner and um, it will take the pressure a little bit better than um, the thicker drawing paper, which is what I used in the printing press. So now I'm gonna see how this one turned out. Moment of truth, pull this print out. Oh, this looks lovely. Actually, um, look, turned out really well. Um, and so I'm just gonna do a few more of those prints uh, so that I have multiple reduction prints.